My name is Crystal Klug. I'm from Columbus, Nebraska. My husband and I have three farm kids and we raise organic and conventional uh, crops. We also raise cattle and own a cattle trucking business. It's our goal as farmers and for all farmers to raise safe, affordable, and healthy food for my family and for your family. As a Common Ground volunteer, we often hear questions about food labels and what exactly they mean. And oftentimes labels can be confusing and misleading and that's what we just want to talk a little bit more about today. Come to my kitchen and we'll talk more about what labels mean. So I just got back from the grocery store and I have some items that I picked up that have those uh, labels on that we talked about before. And what I like to tell consumers is it's important to keep in mind, once you step foot in that grocery store, there's over 40,000 products that are buying for your dollar. Um, and so there's a big difference between marketing labels and nutrition labels. So let's go over some of those marketing labels. Um, on this can of tomatoes, we have the non-GMO project verified. It's also on this box of spaghetti and this bag of mandarin oranges. So what does that mean? Tomatoes, wheat, and oranges, there's no GMO alternative. So essentially, this label has no meaning because there is no GMO alternative. So let's move on to some labels that are common on meat. Um, so I have a bag of chicken here and we have all natural. All natural just basically means that this item has been minimally processed and it contains no artificial colors or ingredients. Uh, there's also a no antibiotics ever uh, label on it and a no added hormones or steroids. Uh, I think it's important for consumers to know and understand that pork and poultry never ever have any hormones. They're never given any hormones. So um, whether it's this product or the next product by it that doesn't have this no added hormones or steroids, to know that they're equally the same. Um, and so that's really important to understand um, when you're spending your dollar at the grocery store. This no antibiotics ever, that, that means that this chicken has never in its life been given antibiotics. Um, but that's not necessarily to say if, if a chicken has been given antibiotics, the farmer waits until that antibiotic is completely out of its system before that animal can go to harvest. So that's really important for consumers to, to understand um, that just because an animal has been given medicine, that animal before it gets um, goes to harvest, that medicine is completely and 100% out of their system. So essentially, um, it also has no antibiotics. And the last item I have here is a bag of organic carrots. Uh, and I think the label right here, it says USDA organic. So that means that this farmer has gone through certain steps to make sure that they are certified organic as a farm themselves um, to receive this certification. And as a mom and consumer myself, uh, I just encourage you to look at the back of the label if you're looking for a nutritional merit of a product and not get so caught up in the outside in the front of the product, which has all those misleading labels on it. Thank you for stopping by our farm today and I hope that you learned a little bit something about food labels and what they mean. And the next time you walk into a grocery store, I hope that you can base your choices on facts and not fear. Bye. Bye.